Peace and prosperity. Be on to all who's listening and watching. It's your girl Shay Miller Ray, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is about you versus you. You versus you basically is yourself fighting you. Your lower self fighting your highest self. The good parts of you versus the not so good parts of you, right? So in this battle of becoming better or just living you always have this negative part to yourself that is always fighting against the good part to yourself this part always puts thoughts in your mind oh i'm not enough we should do more you should do better all the time the other self is always competing or depriving or pulling down the other self. No matter what part of you it is, it's still you. So whether it be the yin or yang part of you, it's still yourself. The lowest self or the higher self is still you. The you versus you battle is the internal battle. The fight that you fight all the time. Your emotions, your inner thoughts your inner doubts, your worries, and the things that you stress about daily. The other things that, the things that you're strong in, the things that you're sure about, the things that you know, um, the things that you're happy about, the moments that you, you know, are proud of. Um, so you're fighting with both versions of yourself. One side pulls you down, making you sad, making you feel less worthy, make you feel like you're not enough. Then the other side is like, we can do it. I'm sure we're, we're here to achieve great things. I am amazing. I am good. When you're fighting with yourself, this constant battle between yin and yang, you want to come to a common understanding that though the lower you will always try to pull you down at certain points in life. Because after every victory, at the top of the mountain, you've got to come back down and experience um, trials in the valley. So you get a win, you go through a test. You reach the mountaintops, you come back down to the valley. Life has its counterparts. If you experience something good, Something naturally real bad will come after it. It's just life. It's how it is. It's how we continue to grow as people. What you come to do is come to acceptance that there are parts of you that are lower. That are um, doubtful or insecurities. Or you may not be happy in this particular place. You may not feel enough. You may not feel satisfied with yourself. You may regret some certain decisions that you made. You may overthink a lot. It's a lot of things about ourselves and the lower state of our being that we often dwell over. That's like 59% of our thoughts are recurring thoughts. And they're mostly negative. You want to work on the great things about yourself. Now, yesterday I talked about in the video how we should journal the things that we're grateful for and have a more mindful gratitude attitude as to does determine gratitude and even if you go about life in a positive i can do it i'm sure about it despite doubts and uncertainties you won't be motivated all the time you don't always have inspiration um these things are something that you have to get up to do you have to get up despite the fact that you're not inspired or motivated despite when you don't feel like it you still have to continue to go forward so this is the battle of you versus you you have days where i don't want to do it and you got days where yes let's go tackle that you know and the biggest thing is saying that every day is not the same and you don't always have your best days. Every day is not the best day, but you have great things out of every day, no matter what happens. There's a lesson to be learned, no matter what, okay? So the biggest thing I would say when this, you're constantly battling yourself, um, 
I would say is to focus on how you can work on one good part of you and one lower part of you. So to have balance, you have to equally work on both sides to yourself. You want to work on the thing that opposites towards the uh, thing that you're focusing on. Like if there's something that you want that requires you to be disciplined, that requires you to be focused, yet the lower self is very undeveloped, doesn't like to be focused, is very unmotivated, very uninterested, um, falls into states of depression or worry or sadness because of the uncertainties that come with what you want and the focus that requires that comes with that. We and all the time that you have to invest into it. Um, when you have a lower side that's against what you actually want or something that you're doing or something that you're strong or good in, you want to push that weakness to become a strength so that it has a balance now i'm not saying it won't be a weakness no more what i'm saying is it will become stronger and the way you see it would be a different perspective so your low state to being or your weaknesses don't always have to be weak i'm predominantly right hand but that doesn't mean this left hand can't be good at great at some of the things that this right hand is good at that's precisely what i'm telling you just because 59% of thoughts are negative recurring doesn't mean you can't, the other percentage can't be good, right? And just because there's a lot of good things that you do, that doesn't mean you won't have negative things that you do as well. So it's just like if you have good habits and you know you have bad habits as well, it's working on the ones that you know are not serving the good and removing them same with thoughts like if you know certain thoughts are contradictory to what you want then you, what you do is you remove those thoughts and you replace them with better ones so they can push forward towards the things that you actually want not saying those thoughts completely disappear thoughts are like clouds they come and go because some thoughts are recurring and some thoughts aren't but the biggest thing is you want to focus on how you can replace it or fix it or work on it the best thing is to improve and find the solution to replace whatever it is that is keeping you down or in the same place. Um, the you versus you battle is going to be forever. As long as you live, you're always going to be battling with yourself. But when you find peace and contentment with you, it doesn't matter how great the battle outside in this world is. As long as the battle within is being fought and made peace with, it doesn't matter how great that battle is. Because you won the greatest one. The one with you. If you can win the fight with yourself, you can win the fight with anything in life. Precisely, that doesn't mean that because you make yin or yang more better or more balanced, that doesn't mean that you won't fall short in it. Like, I'm strong in finances. I'm good at managing money. I'm good at, you know, investing and things like that. But that doesn't mean... I'm good at gaining money, right? I'm not, I don't have the skill or talents that I need necessary to bring the money in fast as it goes out. So we have weak points, even if we have strong points. I'm good at managing money and saving and investing, but I'm not good at increasing the strength of income. That does not mean I cannot become better at it, but that just means that's a weakness to something I'm actually good at. So, that is just me. You versus you is a battle with self. And when you learn to fight that battle correctly, you can always win the war.